Sunday, September the 26th, day number two of the Epicenter 2010 concert. It's going to be the Auto Club Speedway in Fontana. A little band called Blink-182 is making their only North American concert appearance of 2010. Mark and Tom from the band, ladies and gentlemen, joining yeah. us in the studio. Yeah. On the Kevin and Bean Show right now, how lazy a band are you with one concert in the whole <laughs> continent in a year? We just want to get it right. <laughs> <laughs> we want to do it right. It takes quite a lot of rehearsal. You're, you're working on a new album, right? Is that yes. what's taking up your time? We have officially started the new Blink-182 album, and uh, it is really exciting. We have a few... I mean, we got this show. We're also going to Europe, so there's a there's a few things that are happening during the... So it, it's, we're a little uh, little clustered right now. I'm busy, but uh, it, it has started. So how so far are you into it? Like 5%, 25%? Uh, you know, it's it's hard to say that because these days we I mean we started on that last record we did we work a long period of time on it to try and get it right so uh so I'm thinking like uh, we're about 80% done. <laughs> like, you know. Which will translate to 20? Yeah. And when you throw some of them out and stuff like that? Yeah. You know, so, no, this is exciting. No, this is a really exciting time for us. So we have a lot. The band, uh, you know, since we got back together, it's like it's such it's such a, a larger force than it's ever been. So it's really exciting. I, isn't that amazing? I mean, let, let's talk about that for a second because for folks who haven't followed the chronology of the thing, Blink-182 was together for a long time, right? 15 years or something like that before something you, like that, you yeah. took the hiatus. And then you were gone, and then for for whatever reason, people didn't forget about you. It got bigger and bigger the longer you were gone. And when you came back, I mean, it's just been it's been aces since then. Yeah. And and I also thought since the minute you decided to get back together, and we saw that you know announcement when you came out on the Grammys and stuff like that. Every single day of your life, maybe every single hour, people have said, when is there going to be a new Blink Sock? That must be the most frustrating part about the whole thing. No, nah, not at all. That's the most ingratiating part about the whole thing is that even after all this time, people are still wanting to hear music from us and... Why don't you pull one out then? Because the thing is, <laughs> we get bigger. Like, we yeah, get bigger. Well, I, you know what? I, was, I wanted to bring a song this morning just to play. But the thing is, now that everybody wants to hear, like you know, whatever we do now, it just has to be great. The first right. thing we have to do right. has to be really great. Whereas before, you could like throw a song into a live set or kind of work a new song in or whatever. But now, with all this pressure, we just got to be like the song. Years ago, when we, uh, we we're just gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna I, just rose it, aren't you? No, no, no. The Chinese democracy. Twenty years from now, you're gonna go. It's got to be right. <laughs> I know. Um, no, actually, I, I think it'd be fun to just put out something fast and fun and silly and and whatever, and then have that be the take first the song. Break off. the yeah, ice. Take the pressure off. Yeah. You know. First Not time we, you you should go, make a bad on me, purpose. You should make a bad on purpose. We uh, you know what's funny is that's uh, what our first four records were. <laughs> 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 just breaking our band yeah. in. You Done? Know? Yeah. Got that. No, I was just thinking what was funny is like uh, what Mark was saying when we when we had our first big record on Enema of the State when we were much younger, the the, the follow up to that. Um, the, all the record label guys came in. Remember when all we did was we played them three acoustic songs. We've been recording for months this follow-up record, so there's so much pressure. And so we sat them down and we played them three acoustic songs that were recorded as though that's what we've been working on for nine months. <laughs> that's all you had? And one was about having sex with your mom. One, one was <laughs> yeah. having sex with Hitler. One was having sex with dogs. <laughs> and, and literally, their faces dropped. Like, like, they were, like, stunned. Like, you know. And they were all, you know, we, we, and we were serious about it, you know. We actually... Wait, what? Well, you were serious about well, it. Well, we wanted them on the albums, and we actually had to, we had to do a big deal where only one song could go on a certain pressing. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, yeah. So, That's uh, hilarious. Can you play one of those songs? Well, you, uh, know funny, you know what's funny? This is a good story for the yeah, KRS listeners. So actually, so the song about having sex with Hitler, yeah, I remember, I, ch I, I, uh, I told... At the time, Smitty, our tour manager, was working with Pearl Jam, or he still is, actually. And so I was hanging out with Stone, the guitar player of Pearl Jam, and I remember I told him about this song. I woke up one day, and it was an answering machine message from him just saying, Hey, Tom, this is Stone. Um, well, I was just talking, and, uh, well, we don't think you should have a song about Hitler on your record. <laughs> you know? So we eventually changed it to... Uh, Having sex with your grandpa, well, which is a was. lot... Yeah, yeah, a lot it's a more, lot more tame. Yeah, yeah. A lot more tame, that's acceptable. Yeah, yeah. I think. <laughs> right? <laughs> Somehow, it's way better than Hitler. You know well, that it, it's it's you know th this kind of strategic thinking has really made our band uh, sure. have a great career. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> uh, let, let, let me ask you guys this uh, question. And I, when you were telling the story about taking the music and having to hear what the label thinks about it, I mean, the, the same thing happened to Big Boy, who's got that record that just came out this week that I really really like. And the label said, "We don't even want to release this because we don't know what to do with it because it didn't fit our perception." This is the guy from Outkast. Right. Got a solo record. Didn't fit our perception of what it should be. At this point in the world in 2010, do you even need to run anything by anybody? Can't you put whatever you want out yourself and do it exactly your way? I think so. I guess it depends on how much the label invests in it. But as an artist, if you're established, 
it, it's weird. I think with technology and, and the way the world, I think you can kind of do whatever you want these days. People are making gigantic splashes on the internet by uh, and just doing it themselves. So I think that's a good thing that you don't necessarily like as a label. I'd be excited. Like this is something that we didn't expect from you. This is something new and something. And that album, from what I've heard, I've, I've heard a few songs. I bought it last night, and it seems great. Yeah, that's be, what I think, too. I'd be excited about that. I'd be like, wow, this is something different and fresh. Let's try something new with this. But I think that a lot of labels are kind of like Labels stuck don't in that want <laughs> They don't really want surprises. They yeah. don't want curveballs. <laughs> yeah. So, so what, is your, what is your status? You guys have a record label, and is it your same label as before, or you're doing it more yourself this time, or what's the deal this time around? We are still on Interscope Records. You are. Okay. Yes, we are. Speaking of Blink and your crazy fans, yeah. you've probably met a lot of fans over the years with Blink tattoos. Am I right? Yes. yes. One's wow. named Tom. I, I have one. I was probably the first one to have it, and then everyone else copied it. <laughs> We've got uh, Katie, who, if I understand her email correctly, is getting hers today. So I thought this might be a good opportunity to bring you all together. Hey, Katie, welcome to the Kevin and Bean Show. How are you? Hi. Thank Hi. you. I'm good. How are you? Good. How are you today? Well, I'm hi. Good. This is exciting, <laughs> Katie. The, this is uh, a, quite an honor that you're doing that. That's amazing. It feels a little serendipitous, I have to say, that you're on the radio today. Oh, that, that's a big word. All right. So I don't let know me set that means. I don't know. I thought about that, too. Uh, it was a big word. <laughs> let, let me set that's an ice cream place in New York. You know uh, that, Kevin. Right. Let me set this up for you. That was a Your, great movie. Katie's <laughs> email says that she has seen Blink 182 30 times in concert. Is that right, Katie? Or are you exaggerating for, for effect? No, it has literally been 30 times. I what, was the first Blink, what was the first Blink show you ever saw? At the Weenie Roast in 1998. Oh, K-Rock history all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like wow. to suggest that I love Blink-182, but 30 times might be too many. You know what? You know uh, what I, mean? I Trust me, I, I, I'm I just scared that she's going to say we haven't gotten better. That's the only <laughs> thing I'm scared of. All right, so 30 times in concert. Today's the, the day before your 30th birthday. You already have Epicenter tickets to see them in September, but you say that you are going to get a Blink-182 tattoo today, and we are dying to know what the plans are. What are you going to get? <laughs> I am going to get, well, this is growing up on my wrist. Oh, wow. wow. I wrote that. That's sophisticated. <laughs> I wrote that. That was me. I wrote that. Wow. <laughs> That's good. You know it's going to be well, there thank forever. You. <laughs> it is going to be there forever. And I'm going to be growing up forever. I, True. I love wow, that. Time, wow. space, continuum. You wrote a timeless... <laughs> A timeless sentence. I'm telling you, when I hear stories like this, it just reaffirms my belief that this band is like an orgasm. You can't have too much of it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> this is great, Katie. This is awesome. And Mark, you should have a Blink tattoo as well. I have two Wait, of them. Wait, you know what, Mark? No. Well... I don't know what's a dude. I, know, I spent five years hating this guy. No, you think he's going to have my body forever? <laughs> oh! <laughs> well, I Mark, have... you're welcome to come. I'm going to be there at 4 o'clock today. You're welcome to join me. There you go. Mark yeah? will be there. 4 o'clock? Yeah. Um, Mark, you're um, you're the lightest of the ink in the band, right? How yeah. many do you have? I just have two. I yeah, I only have two tattoos. Because I know so, a lot of times yours don't even show. So yeah, they're they're I'm like a on private a private person. <laughs> and then <his> penis <laughs> on there. They're on his front hip in the center of his back and the lower part. Yeah, oh, so I got a flower a sunshine, yeah, the sun. little flower on the back of my back. Nice. Katie, have a great time at Epicenter. Katie, thank I you very much for getting a tattoo. That's awesome, and I, I hope that uh, I hope that you love your tattoo forever. I will, and thank you for being you guys. You're amazing. Hey, thanks for being you. <laughs> this is beautiful. It's a love fest. You know what I think was really interesting? There's two when a, when a child is born. There's two things that they instinctively know, and one is to latch on and eat, and the other one is they bob their head to music. It's actually pretty interesting. I've noticed that in lots of babies because I stare at other people's babies. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, All right. But uh, my uh, my daughter is now realizing uh, some of the dialect. Uh, that Blink has been using on Excellent. stage Good. and in the, old, in the old videos. And, and it's uh, not like you can hide that at this point. No, you cannot. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> you must, so. I'm raising my kids Amish. Are you? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. But, no, no button. No snaps. 